I hope. Yes, good morning, everyone. चलिए दिन शुरू करते हैं तो फर्स्ट फर्स्ट वी हैव इज वन नेशन वन इलेक्शन इट्स अ प्रपोजल विच डिड नॉट अपियर वेरी फिजिबल बट नाउ इट अपियर्स सो दे वॉज अ हाई लेवल हाई लेवल कमिटी a high level committee headed by the former president ramnath kovind on the concept of one nation one election presented its finding to president draupadi murmu governance may the constitutional bodies and aapka uh, policies they do come in the prelims ir may well, basically geographical based question jaise for example hamas war is going on So you need to know what is Hamas, which area it is belong to, nearby region, any river, any important mountain. These kind of question you basically ask in prelims. So the IR may mostly related to geographical and any policy. For example, a new treaty India has signed. So remember the name of the treaty. Details की जरूरत नहीं है. Details तो we can do later. These kind of few things are required. बाकी खास आता नहीं IR में. Prelims में mains में तो very important. Yes, kind of current affairs. Uh, uh, kind of current affairs, uh, but largely कोई if there is a treaty or something because the understand majority of IR is already continuing. What you see is an update whether the issue has been resolved or not or new issue has been made. That is what current affairs about. ठीक है बाकी ज़्यादा कुछ है नहीं. Governance IR is majorly a mains related topic. Ha so high level committee was formed by uh, formed by the government headed by the former president of India Ramnath Kovind he has submitted the report to the current president Draupadi Murmu what is the historical context if you look at the one nation one election it was a standard practice until 1967 very crucial year because 1967 for the first time the congress lost majority in the 13 states it highlighted a significant change in india's politics the change was that india has moved away from one party system what is party system party system means the parties with systemic relevance not the parties who are fighting election the parties with systemic relevance matlab the parties having the capacity of forming the government or breaking the government example bjp congress so national level pe you can say largely If say for example nobody votes to any party except BJP Congress, so we can say that India is a two-party system. But now India is not a two-party system. India is a multi-party system. But for two times constantly BJP has won with majority. If it wins the third time also with absolute majority, then you can say kind of India is moving toward again one-party system. So India had a one-party system until nineteen. 67 the one party was congress it was in power both in the union as well as in the, all the state governments the absolute power was under the command of congress nobody could match congress after that congress power start diluting 1967 particularly the peak of congress power outside nehruvian era is rajiv gandhi indira gandhi was assassinated rajiv gandhi got the absolute majority highest majority i think 380 something jahan tak mujhe pata hai the bjp is this year is targeting to match that but wo isliye aayi thi because indira gandhi was assassinated people were a bit sentimental so they voted in favor of congress apart from that if you look, uh, leave that period of indira gandhi and rajiv gandhi so largely you can say india has been a multi party democracy a uh, with multi party comes problem the biggest problem is elections why i am saying election is a problem because election is a common sense of democracy problem is there are too many elections in india every few weeks there is an election every few months there is an election every year there is an election in some state or other state there are two kind of problems the biggest problem it has is for the union government state ka issue nahi aata like for example aapki state mein himachal pradesh mein for example you have election this year then after 5 years karnataka mein election this year then after 5 years so for 5 years you don't worry much lekin central government is a concern तो देखिए सेंटर डिपेंड्स अपॉन द वोट ऑफ एवरीवन उनके लिए तो कर्नाटका वोट आर एज इंपॉर्टेंट एज द हिमाचल वोट 
आपके लिए इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं होगा यूर फॉर यू द ओनली हिमाचल वोट्स मैटर फॉर कर्नाटका ओनली कर्नाटका वोट्स मैटर बट फॉर यूनियन गवर्नमेंट ऑल वोट मैटर्स अ प्रॉब्लम इज दैट यू वॉन इलेक्शन बाई एब्सुलट मेजोरिटी इट मीन्स द पीपल हैव गिवन यू मैंडेट टू रूल द गवर्नमेंट और कंट्रोल दिस कंट्री एज पर योर मैनिफेस्टो नॉट विजिबल दिल की आंखों से देखो समर्था अभी भी नहीं दिखे लगता है कोई और आ गया बीच में एक मिनट बुलाते हैं <laughs> अरे कोई इन द मेन टाइम कंटिन्यू करते हैं सो व्हाट वाज द इशू द इशू वाज दैट यूनियन गवर्नमेंट हैज अ प्रॉब्लम you have a government you have to run 5 years every day. now and then there is election in up bihar karnataka there here there so you are, every time you have to be very cautious what you do because you cannot make anyone angry state ko aisa problem nahi hai you have won the election for 5 years you are free now you do whatever you want because after 5 year election will take place clear so in that context we are studying this because modi government is very concerned Yeah, I won the election, but yet there is a there is election here, there, here, there. I am unable to pursue my policy. Like say, for example, UP Bihar me when elections were there, Modi government stopped a policy of privatization for few period. Privatization. As soon as the election were over, immediately government passed an order on foreign direct investment in companies. Election khatam hua, ek ghante me order aa gaya. So government was waiting. because government knew if i allow fdi foreign direct investment in corporation so people often see it as a agenda of selling india they see you are privatizing everything to so government nahi chahti thi up bihar ko up bihar mein government jobs are sensitive topic baaki jagah pe itna na ho up bihar mein is very sensitive so government waited ki let the election over then i will do the policy but yet this is not the mandate the mandate was for 5 years not for 2 months but every 2 months you have to adjust your policy so government wants ki why shouldn't we have one election there will be one election in the entire country as it used to happen in the beginning people will vote for everyone means they will vote for mla mp at the same time okay so that is what we have as i told you 1967 tak everything ran smooth 1967 mein 13 state mein the congress lost majority and the era of multi party democracy starts in india By 1968, 1969, number of state legislature were dissolved. President rule, this rule, that rule, and this drama kept on happening. <clears throat> Particularly, uh, this continued to the simultaneous election. Basically, lost is sink. Initially, the state and union election used to happen one time. People used to choose all the state governments and the union government at the same time. But over time, they went out of sync. because state government were abolished earlier later and then 1979 onwards there was a coalition era in the center no party for 10 years 1979 to lagbhag 1989 no party was able to form a stable government sorry 1989 to 1999 no party was able to form a stable government there for example vajpay is very popular government it ran only for 17 days central government keval 17 din chali gir gayi to this kind of drama was happening So 17 days government, 20 days government. That was the problem of multi-party democracy. Problem is clear because we were new. The point new thing is that I told you when there is a new value, you take time to imbibe that value. So this multi-party democracy, coalition democracy was a new to us. So we did not behave properly. Over time, we developed sensibility. Something we call common minimum program. आपने सुना होगा everyone talks about when you run in a coalition. अब से for example BJP in a coalition with Um, क्या बोलते हैं उसे पीडीपी इट्स इन जम्मू कश्मीर महबूबा मुफ्ती तो पीडीपी इन जम्मू कश्मीर एंड दे हैव अ वेरी डिफरेंट एजेंडा पीडीपी इज वेरी क्लियर 370 मस्ट स्टे फॉर एवर एंड दे टॉक अबाउट ऑटोनॉमी ऑफ जम्मू कश्मीर बीजेपी इज एक्सट्रीमली अगेन बट येट बीजेपी फॉर्म द कोलिशन गवर्नमेंट इन जम्मू कश्मीर विद पीडीपी बोथ आर पोलर अपोजिट इन डिमांड बीजेपी हैज डिफरेंट एजेंडा पीडीपी हैज डिफरेंट एजेंडा बट येट दे केम टुगेदर टू फॉर्म अ गवर्नमेंट दैट इज कॉल्ड कॉमन मिनिमम प्रोग्राम common minimum means you cannot agree with my point i cannot agree with your point but we can agree on some points so we decide we will not do anything on those point only do on some points 
वेरी गुड खुल गया था सो क्लियर है सो दिस आर द रीजन दैट सैमिल्टेन सिलेक्शन और ऑफन सॉर्ट द कॉमन मिनिमम प्रोग्राम के मेन ऑल ड्रामा हैपन अल्टीमेटली देर वॉज फर्स्ट प्रपोजल केम इन नाइनटीन एटी थ्री Uh, there was a election commission annual report. Election commission or all the bodies in India, you will do in governance. Every single body, election commission, national commission for scheduled caste, scheduled tribe, all these bodies, they publish annual report. In annual report, they write down what they achieved in this year. Well, whatever cases they pick, whatever they did not pick, what is that? Everything is mentioned in annual report, and every institution publishes that. They are given to the president, and president then put that into the parliament. It's the indirect way of these bodies telling the people what we did through Parliament. You people get to know what these body did in their previous year. So, in the annual report of 1983, Election Commission for the first time thought about simultaneous election. Then, Law Commission report in 1999 talked about the same thing. Then, ultimately, 2017, Niti Aayog they prepared a rough charter. Lastly, 2018, the Law Commission emphasized. Clear? So this is the demand. So you can say from 1980s there was a demand of simultaneous election, but it has now picked pace. Why? I told you the reason. Because Modi government is an absolute government, and Modi feels frustrated a lot of time. I want to do something, I cannot because this state has election, that state has election. So I don't want that kind of dramas. Finally, let's see what is the recommendation. The committee's recommendation is we can have election from 2029. they can be simultaneous election or what is the proposal he suggested that we have to amend we have to bring at least 18 amendment to the constitutions and other laws electoral laws representation of people act type of laws and the constitution we have to bring at least 18 amendment and how the process will go let's see first step create article 82a under article 82a you will amend the constitution and introduce a new language that is article 82 a what this article will say this article will say that the president of india will have the power to specify a date for simultaneous election the well, president under the authority of article 82 a will specify a date let's assume that president specify a date of 2029 means this will be your last lok sabha without simultaneous election next election of 2029 will be based on simultaneous election if this recommendation is accepted abhi accept hogi ya nahi hogi abhi hame nahi pata because koi government is waqt karegi nahi after election hame pata lagne wala hai iska kya hoga chances hai the modi government is likely to accept because ye pura agenda hi isliye banaya gaya hai theek hai second stage The second stage may there will be a synchrony of municipal and panchayat election with Lok Sabha and Assembly within hundred days. कैसे होगा? What we will do? We will abolish. We will put a time limit of every state कि सबके election कब होंगे? Let's say you chose a government in twenty seventeen, twenty twenty seven. Let's say there is an election of Karnataka in twenty twenty seven. So that government will run for how many years? Two years only. एक वन टाइम मेजर लगेगा इसमें अदरवाइज कैसे करेंगे फॉर अ वन टाइम मेजर प्रेसिडेंट फर्स्ट विल नोटिफाई द डेट सेकंड ऑल द स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर विल एक्सपायर ऑन दैट डेट इंक्लूडिंग द यूनियन लेजिस्लेचर चांसेस इज द स्टेट मेक कंटेस्ट दैट इन इन सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया वो कहेंगे द लॉजिक दे मे पुट इज वाई वी वाई नॉट द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट इज ऑल वर्ल्डली हम एक क्यों करो एक काम करो सबका एंड करो एक साथ they may raise a question but ye karna to padega if you want to have simultaneous election then as a one time measure you must abolish the governments within the cut off date so that is the thing lekin iske liye kya chahiye hoga amendment to constitution that require ratification by at least because under article 368 of the constitution article 368 of the constitution says if there is any amendment to the constitution in which the interest of the states are involved it must be ratified by at least half of the state by simple majority so how this will work government will put a constitutional amendment in lok sabha aur rajya sabha jahan bhi put karenge 
it will pass by lok sabha and rajya sabha by two third of present and voting plus 50% of total strength that is special majority it will be passed in both houses then it will go to the state governments and then at least 50% of the state must ratify by simple majority means more than 50% present and voting then it will go to the president of india and the president of india will sign that amendment and with that process this with that signing this process will come into being clear ab ek chhota sa problem aata hai chaliye maan lete hain you abolish all governments and ultimately 2029 mein there will be single election what is the guarantee the government will continue forever let's say karnataka dissolves by 2030 2029 mein same election will happen 2030 mein karnataka dissolves then would you not have elections there the proposal here is yes abhi kya hota hai whenever a government is dissolved means whenever the legislature cannot form the government new elections happen for 5 years is bar aisa nahi hoga the remaining of the time ab kya hoga whenever a government will fall in between of the term new elections will happen but only for the remainder of the term jaise for example 2029 may the union election and all the state government will have election together then let's say in 2031 2031 that is after 2 years of election karnataka government fell so what will happen new government will be chosen but only for remaining 3 years however it has a gray area because they give it's a proposal when you will implement this then it will show a lot of problems you will ratify them a problem that i see is what will happen when only few period is left just for example one year let's say four year has passed the government dissolves now only one year is left there is no sense of rechoosing entire legislature for one year us samay mein kya hoga for one year would there be a president rule or would there be a caretaker government what will happen there is not clear first thing second thing what will happen to lok sabha if lok sabha dissolves would we dissolve all the states so there are some functional problems but they are not very far fetched problem wo baad mein dekh lenge for now the proposal is that president will notify a date and on that date all the state legislatures will be abolished for one time major ek time hame karna padega as a one time measure and after that all will have simultaneous election if any government after simultaneous election dissolves in between then a new legislature will be chosen but only for the remainder of the term that's how you can have election at a definite date to aapko pehle din pata hoga when the election will again happen clear no five years drama so this is the proposal let's see whether they accept or not ये सब देख लेना अब देर टू न्यू रिफॉर्म्स हियर दे वॉज अ सजेशन बिकॉज आई टोल गवर्नमेंट कैन डिजोल्व इन बिटवीन ऑल्सो एंड द न्यू लेजिस्लेचर विल बी चोजन फॉर द रिमाइंडर पीरियड नॉट फॉर द फुल फाइव लेंथ पीरियड जो अभी होता है अभी क्या होता है वेन एवर द गवर्नमेंट डिजोल्व चाहे सात दिन हो चाहे सात सौ दिन हो द न्यू गवर्नमेंट इज क्रिएटेड फॉर द फाइव ईयर्स एंटायरली दैट विल नॉट हैपन एनी लॉन्गर सो दे वॉज अ सजेशन वाई शुडन बी यूज जर्मन मॉडल what is this german model germany has a model because they have suffered the hitler era unko ek baat samajh mein aa gayi thi that when there is no government or when there is instability political instability there is a fundamental weakness among the human beings we often choose dictator in power the weakness humans have is whenever we are in a crisis we often look toward alpha male we look toward a person who is strong man who may be a dictator but who can exude confidence from some may problem we like a person who exudes confidence we like vocal idiots than silent intellectuals introvert kitna arrogant hai ye extrovert ye banda acha hai this common problem we all have that's a fundamental weakness of primates that's why we are very bad at choosing leaders we often choose dictators in power hitler ho chahe aur koi ho all these people have risen in democracies and they experienced hitler's time So to avoid that, they brought a new mechanism. The mechanism is, if there is a government and there is a no confidence motion, no confidence motion means when you say this government does not enjoy majority in the house. In Germany, 
if you introduce no confidence motion along with that you have to introduce a resolution saying we have alternative available india mein aisa nahi india mein kya hai you can introduce no confidence motion matlab opposition can introduce no confidence motion whenever they desire they do not have to state any reason india mein there is no reason required for no confidence and the speaker of the house <coughs> cannot deny accepting no confidence ko mana bhi nahi kar sakta if you introduce no confidence the speaker must accept it there is no condition of saying no so there is no requirement of reason india mein kya hai no reason is required for no confidence and no speaker can deny it and that's why opposition often use it for criticism of the government because all the other resolution you will study that in polity there are a lot of resolutions resolution means opinion paper there is a paper i will write something it will express my opinion so i will call that paper resolution clear resolution resolution is a opinion paper so parliament may whatever you do the speaker has the power to decide whether to admit or not this is one single motion this is one single tool in which the speaker has no powers advantage because speaker always belong to the majority party and they run as a agent of the majority party always kehte honge hum autonomous hai par they are the stooges of the majority party the state or the center ab you want to criticize for example modi government for corona speaker will never accept your motion to discuss corona because if you discuss corona you will say things and parliament may everything goes on record everything so the solution is no confidence motion because speaker cannot deny accepting no confidence motion introduce it and then discuss whatever you like and everything you say in parliament goes on record it's recorded forever clear this much so this was a proposal but this commission has rejected this so india mein the same scenario will prevail anyone can introduce no confidence whenever they want no reasons are required speaker cannot deny accepting the resolution and you can discuss anything under the sun in no confidence jabki germany mein aisa nahi hota germany mein if you introduce no confidence you must show that you have this mein likha hai kya that's why it is called constructive vote of constructive means you want to destroy the present government but you have alternative available if you cannot show that you don't have alternative so your no confidence is not accepted so india may we have rejected this fine next because they will be single election so they will be single electoral id common sense abhi kya hota you have two electoral rolls you have a national electoral roll for lok sabha and you have a state electoral roll dono alag alag hote hain ab kya hoga they will be only single electoral so advantage is pe dekhte hain pehla advantage it will be efficient single election in one five years single election one five year very efficient abhi kya hota hai you have to spend a crore to rupees on number of elections election commission spend hamara jo paisa kharch karti hai wo it spend a lot of money so single election will be economically feasible second it will be also stable because you know when the government start when the government ends economically feasible productive stable voters ke liye bhi aasan hota voter fatigue will not be there often kya hota hai voter have do not like voting very much they see it, holiday barbad ho raha hai hamara so often what they do is if you ask them to vote more than once they don't vote this that is what happens in by elections by election matlab you are chosen on a seat or say for example the person dies disqualified rusticated the seat become vacant so on that seat only elections happen again known as by elections a by election mein people don't participate because they are already fatigued by single voting ek bar vote karne se zyada unhe pasand nahi hai so advantage kya hai single voting aapke liye bhi convenience hai only one date you have to go economically bhi convenience hai politically bhi convenience hai then what is the problem problem is diluting forever accountability जैसे इंग्लैंड में कहा जाता है जैसे लॉक है सेड दैट ब्रिटिशर्स आर फ्री वंस इन अ फाइव ईयर ही सेड दैट ब्रिटिशर्स आर फ्री वंस इन अ फाइव ईयर व्हाट इज फ्रीडम फ्रीडम मींस राइट टू चूज व्हेन यू कैन चूज व्हाट यू वांट सो वंस इन अ फाइव ईयर यू कैन चूज हुम हु विल रूल ओवर यू बट वंस यू चोज वंस यू हैव चोजन देन फॉर फाइव ईयर्स यू हैव टू बियर विद दैट पर्सन 
चाहे पसंद हो चाहे ना पसंद हो सो यू आर फ्री ओनली वन इन फाइव ईयर सेम प्रोसेस विल कम ईयर अभी क्या वी आर फ्री फॉर एवर एवरी नाउ एंड देन एवरी ईयर दे इज इलेक्शन सो सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट इज वेरी कंसर्न तो इट मे नॉट बिकम डिक्टेटरिश फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू चोज अ गवर्नमेंट After second year, you do something you don't like. So what you will do in a state election, you will defeat that government. Unse they will get a reality check. Achha, ne pura laga. So they will reverse the policy. Very good example, farm laws. Prime example. Hai. Modi government was hell bent ki kuch bhi kar lo, wapas nahi lenge. Then UP elections came. Unhone kaha, oh, sorry, tum to bura mangay. UP election mein Modi government knew very well if we do not take back the farm laws, we will lose UP. Jabki General elections are far, but UP elections over there. So because of UP election, Modi government withdrew the farm laws. So this is you can say perennial accountability. By having non-simultaneous election, you have a perennial accountability. A government cannot become too big to downsize. Clear? So there are argument on both sides. Up pro may be here, anti may be here. As such, I feel there is no problem. Up is a kar sakte hain. Except uh, if there is proper liberty to protest, तो कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता If you can protest, you can raise your voice, तो कोई टेंशन नहीं हाँ अगर वो नहीं है तो टेंशन है बाकी तो मुझे पता नहीं कुछ ठीक है एनी वे क्लियर दिस मच चलिए दिस इज वट आई हैव फॉर यू स्मॉल न्यूज थी बाकी एवरी थिंग आई हैव डिस्कस लेट्स कम टू द नेक्स्ट न्यूज दिस इज अ बिट इंपॉर्टेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ आई आर तो प्रीवियस वन वॉज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू पॉलिटी एंड गवर्नेंस दिस वन इज आई आर UNSC reforms and the resolution on Hamas war. So, so they, they were two news. I have clubbed them together to understand how the UNSC works. There is something I hope. थोड़ा सा आपको याद होगा. The starting point यार लिख देता हूँ मैं. The starting point of international relation is Treaty of Westphalia. the present order of international relations 1648 this is considered as a starting point of international relation as you see today because this treaty laid the foundation of what you call today modern nations something we call territorial state this treaty laid this foundation territorial states वाइड टेरिटोरियल स्टेट ये पहले भी मैंने कई बार बताया है द रीजन वॉज कैपिटलिज्म कैपिटलिज्म कोर ऑफ कैपिटलिज्म इज कैपिटल और प्रॉफिट कैपिटलिज्म रन ऑन प्रॉफिट और प्रॉफिट और कैपिटल लेट से आई हैव अ फैक्ट्री टूडे देर इज फॉर एग्जाम्पल मुगल एम्पायर तो आई हैव अ फैक्ट्री इन दिल्ली एंड देर इज अ मुगल एम्पायर हेयर सो वेन आई ले फैक्ट्री अफकोर्स आई विल हैव सम परमिट्स some licenses from the sovereign who is the sovereign right now mughal tomorrow there is maratha after there some ms abdali is coming from the northwest i have no clarity over my contract i have a factory i have laid the factory i have made investment i have risk a lot of things so i want to get some profit out of it today there is mughal empire tomorrow there is maratha empire then ms abdali is coming from northwest doing this drama then britishers are coming there is no clarity over sovereign what is the guarantee that my agreement with mughal will be obeyed by the marathas what is the guarantee that maratha agreement will be obeyed by the britishers <coughs> so with the change of sovereign i am unsure who is my true leader so what i did i fixed borders now there is clarity government may change but state will remain the same i know what is the boundary of government india state of india government nahi state of india i know what is the boundary of state of india it will never change of course there is a war or bahut rare ho jata hai jaise ukraine mein hua but generally today borders of the state do not change government can change but state will remain the same matlab if today i have laid a factory in delhi and i have signed a license or i have got a license from modi government ऐसा नहीं होगा कल कांग्रेस गवर्नमेंट आएगी तो मेरा लाइसेंस कैंसिल हो जाएगा ऐसा नहीं हो सकता तो जो अडानी को एयरपोर्ट मिला है वो वापस नहीं आने वाला ठीक है अंडरस्टैंड दिस बिकॉज इट हैज बीन अग्रीड बाय गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया मोदी हैपन्स टू बी द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ये अग्रीमेंट मोदी से नहीं हुआ है किससे हुआ है 
गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया से हुआ है एंड द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया विल ओबे दिस इफ दे टू रिमूव दिस देन आपको वही ड्रामा होगा आई विल गो टू सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड ऑल ड्रामा क्लियर सो द फाउंडेशन ऑफ इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन स्टार्ट विद ट्रीटी ऑफ वेस्टफेलिया क्रिएशन ऑफ टेरिटोरियल नेशन स्टेट इसे बोला जाता है वेस्टफेलियन नोशन ऑफ सॉवरिटी बट वी कॉल दिस वेस्टफेलियन नोशन ऑफ सॉवरिटी इट मीन्स टेरिटोरियल स्टेट आर सॉवरन दे आर सुप्रीम ओवर एवरीथिंग रिलीजन लैंग्वेज आइडेंटिटी एवरीथिंग इज सबॉर्डिनेट state is supreme if tomorrow parliament of india say for example if tomorrow parliament of india wants to abolish hinduism can it uh can it abolish hinduism if it wants kyo bhai sorry we protest kar denge dekh lenge hum logo ko to legally speaking can it secular religion to dono alag alag hote hain लीगली स्पीकिंग इट कैन क्या मैंने आपको अभी समझा हु इज सॉवरन स्टेट इज सॉवरन दे वॉज अ थर्टी ईयर वॉर बिटवीन द चर्च एंड द स्टेट लेड बाय द किंग एंड द क्यूंस और मैंने आपको हमेशा समझाया यू कैन क्रिटिसाइज क्रिस्टैनिटी एज मच एज यू लाइक बट द मॉडर्निटी यू एंजॉय दिस टीवी दिस पैनल एवरीथिंग इज बिकॉज ऑफ क्रिस्टैनिटी वी कॉल मॉडर्निटी एज अ गिफ्ट ऑफ क्रिस्टैनिटी बिकॉज क्रिस्टन में दे आर टू पार्ट वन इज कॉल ऑर्थोडॉक्स वन इज कॉल प्रोटेस्टेंट प्रोटेस्ट से बना प्रोटेस्टेंट या प्रोटेस्टेंट से बना प्रोटेस्ट ठीक है बेसिकली दीज वर दीपल हु चैलेंज चर्च दे सेड यू विल नॉट कमांड एस वट वी विल डू द गॉड एंड आई हैव अ पर्सनल कनेक्शन समथिंग इन इंडिया यू कॉल भक्ति मूवमेंट यू विल स्टडी दैट इन आर्ट एंड कल्चर इंडिया में दे वॉज अ भक्ति मूवमेंट that emphasized that this god men the priestly class this brahmins they are intermediary they are nothing bhakti ka matlab hota hai a personal connection between the god and me i worship shiva so i do not need a priest to tell me what is shiva i can know by myself that was bhakti movement halaki wo itna liberal nahi tha it was religious protestantism liberal tha so protestantism question the religion and ultimately they supported the kings and king won the game known as 30 years war at the end of 30 year war treaty of westphalia was signed and this city clearly says that who is sovereign over religion state state will decide what will happen to religion so for example parliament of india can ban has banned triple talaq halaki it is not written in quran agar likha bhi hota to bhi hum ban kar sakte because parliament of india enjoys sovereignty ab this is a problem india mein alag problem hai because all these concept originated in the west isliye main hamesha kehta hu polity is nothing but european social sciences ir is nothing but american social sciences jitne aap concept idea padhoge sare western hai india mein kaun laya hai ideas ko who brought this ideas to india britishers britishers through their colonialism brought this sovereignty drama in india That's why India में confusion है इंडिया में कंफ्यूजन है सेक्युलरिज्म को लेकर वट इज अकॉर्डिंग टू राइट विंगर्स इट इज माइनॉरिटी अपीजमेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू माइनॉरिटी इट इज बेसिकली अ ड्रामा हर किसी का अलग मीनिंग है सेक्युलरिज्म का बिकॉज आपको पता होगा देर इज नो ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ वर्ड सेक्युलरिज्म इन एनी इंडियन लैंग्वेज ट्रांसलेशन ही नहीं है क्यों नहीं है बिकॉज इट अ न्यू आइडिया हमारा नहीं है वेस्ट का आइडिया है सबको समझ में आया मेजोरिटी ऑफ द इंडिया कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वेस्टर्न है Indian values में बहुत कम है क्यों बिकॉज ऑल द पीपल क्रिएटेड दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वर वेस्टर्न एजुकेटेड इफ यू विल स्टडी इन वेस्ट ऑफकोर्स यू विल इम्बाइब देयर वैल्यूज जैसे योर किड्स विल बी मोर अमेरिकन दैन इंडियन देयर किड्स विल बी प्योरली अमेरिकन दे विल स्पीक इंग्लिश एंड दे विल मे फोर गेट हिंदी दैट वुड है दैट्स हाउ इम्बाइब कल्चर सबको समझ में प्लीज रिमेंबर That's why इंडिया का आइडियल केस हम नहीं लेते बिकॉज इंडिया में देर इज टू मच डिस्प्यूट बिकॉज दीज आर इम्पोर्टेड वैल्यूज दे डिड नॉट ऑरिजिनेट इन इंडिया हैविंग सेट दैट दिस इज अ स्टार्टिंग ऑफ आई आर टाइटल ठीक है विद दिस अ कंसेप्ट ऑरिजिनेट नोन एज बैलेंस ऑफ पावर ठीक है बेस्ट वेले के साथ एक कंसेप्ट आता है समथिंग वी कॉल बी ओ पी और बैलेंस ऑफ पावर Uh, what is this balance of power 
इफ नेशन बिकेम सुप्रीम पहले कहा था देवर चर्च एंड चर्च वॉज रेगुलेटिंग द अफेयर ऑफ ऑल द स्टेट ऑल द यूरोपियन स्टेट विच वर क्रिश्चन वर अंडर सिंगल कमांड चर्च ऑल द स्टेट विच वर मुस्लिम अंडर टू कमांड पर्शियन एंड ऑटोमन एम्पायर बट लार्जली अंडर द कैलीफेट इस्लाम में कैलीफेट होता है और पोप होता है क्रिश्चियनिटी में बिकॉज आई टोल्ड यू क्रिश्चियनिटी इस्लाम बेसिकली ब्रदर सिस्टर रिलीजन है दे केम फ्रॉम ईच अदर सो तो दे वेन स्टेट बिकेम सुप्रीम देन कम्स द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ हाउ टू प्रिवेंट वॉर्स जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल योर पेरेंट्स आर मिसिंग देन वट इज हैपन द सिबलिंग्स बिकम सुप्रीम योर पेरेंट्स आर देयर दे फॉर एग्जाम्पल दे आर इराडिकेटेड आउट ऑफ क्वेश्चन तो जो बच्चे हैं वो क्या हो जाते हैं If the supreme power is gone, then the kids become supreme. Then they start fighting with each other. आप तेरे को देखता हूँ पापा गए. निकाल वो हिसाब के था. ठीक है. So the sovereign or pope is gone. Now the states are supreme. So how to maintain balance? This concept was born, known as balance of power. Means all the states will maintain roughly equal power so that they do not have a war. Because you don't fight with a person who is equal or superior to you. You may fight with a person who is inferior to you. but this concept failed multiple times first it failed with the rise of napoleon napoleon carried out numerous wars maje mein usne war kari hai it was not required napoleon aap padhenge world history mein there was no requirement of war that napoleon napoleon carried out more than 100 wars in europe useless purpose war kyun kari usne because war is a good diversion good diversion from the question of food and hunger If war will not be there, then Russians, then French will ask, "Where is our food?" So they will say, "Hey, look, you go and fight. Let's fight first." So war acts as a diversion. So Napoleon fought more than hundred wars for diversion. So for the first time, balance of power failed because Napoleon emerged supreme in the entire Europe. France emerged superpower of Europe. Then it failed again with Britain in twentieth century. became the superpower it had the largest colonial empire it was said that uh, sun never sat in british empire then 21st century largely you can say the american century america emerged superpower then we had two world wars in a very narrow gap 1942 to 18 1st world war then 1945 start second then 1939 said jo bhi check kar lena so two world war in a very narrow gap isse ek baat hame samajh mein aayi कि भाई बैलेंस ऑफ पावर इज नॉट वर्किंग वी हैव टू डू समथिंग अबाउट इट एंड देन कम्स द प्रेजेंट कॉन्सेप्ट दिस इज द फाउंडेशन ऑफ वट एवर यू स्टडी इन आई आर टूडे कोई भी चीज आप पढ़ते हो वो सब इसी पे रोटेट करती है नोन एज फोर्टीन पॉइंट स्पीच ऑफ वुड्रो विल्सन Woodrow Wilson was the American president in 1917 he gave 14 point speech whatever you study in IR today is nothing but a reminiscent of 14 point inhi pe discussion chalta hai har waqt it involves expansion of democracy freedom of navigation jo aap har waqt china ke case mein sunte ho freedom of navigation expansion of democracy one principle was very important one of the principle was known as collective security कलेक्टिव सिक्योरिटी वट इज कलेक्टिव सिक्योरिटी कलेक्टिव सिक्योरिटी मीन्स दैट द सिक्योरिटी ऑफ वन नेशन इज द कलेक्टिव कंसर्न ऑफ एवरी वन एल्स वो कलेक्टिव सिक्योरिटी नहीं है वो कलेक्टिव डिफेंस है कलेक्टिव सिक्योरिटी वट इज कलेक्टिव सिक्योरिटी कलेक्टिव सिक्योरिटी मीन्स अनलाइक बैलेंस ऑफ पावर वे आर एवरी वन वॉज वेंचरिंग अलोन बैलेंस ऑफ पावर में एवरी वन इज अलोन they have to balance other party in collective security nobody has to balance anyone because collective security assumes that the security of one nation is the collective concern of everyone else involved and this is the foundation principle of the thing you call clear so united nations foundation is collective security the only purpose united nation is created so, so united nation is a brain child of Woodrow Wilson and ठीक है क्लियर दिस मच अब जल्दी से देख लेते हैं ऑर्गन ऑफ यू एन दे आर फ्यू ऑर्गन ऑफ यू एन वन इज नोन एज यूनाइटेड नेशन सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल यूनाइटेड नेशन जनरल असेंबली यू यूनाइटेड नेशन जनरल असेंबली इज लाइक लोकसभा वेर ऑल द एम पीज आर प्रेजेंट 
So in this case, all the states are there. Right now, there are 193 members. So in the world, there are 193 countries, which are all the countries of the world. They are the member of a body known as United Nations General Assembly. The principle of UNGA is sovereign equality of all nations. UNGA man ke chalta hai that every country is equal. Cha chota sa Mauritius ho ya bada sa India. Irrespective of military political power, every country is equal. That's the principle of United Nations General Assembly. <coughs> so UNGA is like Parliament of India. UNSC. UNSC is like Government of India. They say, what is government of India? What you have? What is government of India? Council of minister handled by prime minister is government. What a council of minister? These are all the ministers put together. What is a minister? It is an MP who is the part of the government. MP means member of legislature, member of parliament in this case. So a few of those MP become the part of the government and they are known as ministers. So minister is an MP or MLA who is the part of government. So basically, few members out of 193 are member of a small council known as UNSC. Right now, it has 15 members. So UNGA may everyone is present. Out of that, few members have been put into small body known as UNSC. Uske lapa aur bhi organ hote, which we will discuss later. Dekh lena aapke paper mein. Filala mein nahi baat karni hai. Ab UNSC, why we are discussing this? It is the most powerful body of the entire UN system. It is the only body that has teeth to bite. First, let us see what are the teeth it possesses. Sir, is India part of UNSC? Yes, just wait a second. We are coming to that. Because that is the news we have to discuss. Okay, so to understand all this India is a part or whatever, you need to first understand what UNSC does and why there is a lot of drama around it. Why India has proposed a reform agenda that we are discussing in the news. Why Hamas war may UNSC resolution is required. Why every time we hear UNSC, UNSC, UNSC. Because UNSC has the responsibility to maintain peace. So the burden of collective security lies on the shoulder of UNSC. It is the nucleus of UN system. This is a body that can do whatever it wants. Basically, it has a teeth to bite. And the powers of UNSC is mentioned in chapter 6 and 7. What are the powers? Let's look them quickly. Under chapter 6, UNSC can take any peaceful measure like Negotiation, mediation, arbitration, referring matter to ICJ. Matlab maan lete India and Pakistan are, are having a dispute over anything. So UNSC, what it can do? United Nations Security Council can pass a resolution. In that resolution, it will say, we will mediate between India and Pakistan. Or aisa nahi hai ki India and Pakistan can say no. Wo no nahi keh sakte. Everyone who is a member of UN, must obey with the command of UNSC. It's compulsory. India-Pakistan is about to have a fight. UNSC passes a resolution under chapter 6 and says that we will mediate. We will act like parents and we will sit on a table and discuss what the drama is going That is what you call peaceful measures. Now UNSC further says if peaceful measure fails, Pakistan says, I am not interested in UNSC. Pakistan mana kar deta hai. Aana mat mere desh mein. In that case, mein, peaceful measure fails. Then comes punitive measure. The punitive measures are covered under chapter 7. So, pehle UNSC will try peaceful measure. Arbitration, negotiation, conciliation. If they don't work, then it will move to chapter 7. Chapter 7 involves punitive measures. Punitive measures matlab complete or partial disruption. If UNSC passes an order, it can isolate any country in the world. Let's say Pakistan says, I am not interested in you. UNSC passes a resolution saying, no country of this world will talk with Pakistan. So Pakistan will be completely isolated. 
नो बडी विल सेंड एनी थिंग टू पाकिस्तान मतलब ना ना ही नो टेलीकम्युनिकेशन लाइन नो रेलवे नो रोडवेज नो एयरवेज पाकिस्तान विल बी आई आउट ऑफ द कंट्री आउट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आइसोलेटेड नथिंग कैन गो आउट ऑफ पाकिस्तान एंड नथिंग कैन गो इन पाकिस्तान दैट इज कॉल्ड कंप्लीट और पार्शियल इंटरप्शन ऑफ इकोनॉमिक एंड डिप्लोमेटिक रिलेशन इंक्लूडिंग एम्बार्गो ऑन रेल सी हाईवे पावर इट हैज रियली पावर उसके बाद भी ये कहता है आर्टिकल फोर्टी टू ऑफ द चार्टर इट सेज इवन इफ दिस फेल्स जैसे नॉर्थ कोरिया उसे क्या आइसोलेट करोगे आप नॉर्थ कोरिया इज ऑलरेडी टू आइसोलेटेड वो कहा डरता है आइसोलेशन से सो आर्टिकल फोर्टी टू सेज इफ सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल बिलीव दैट अब मैथड मतलब डिस्ट्रप्शन आइसोलेशन डज नॉट वर्क आउट दैट इट कैन यूज फोर्स इट कैन सेंड आर्मी एयरफोर्स नेवी टू दैट कंट्री टू मेक इट ओबे अंडरस्टैंड इट हैज सुपर पावर्स कहने का मतलब एंड दैट्स वाई दैट इज पावर सब को समझ भाई आप समझते हैं कैसे काम होता है इसमें Then we will come to India ने अभी क्या propose किया है To exercise these powers, UNSC must pass a resolution. Resolution मैंने आपको समझाया था Resolution means opinion page, in which you write an opinion, and if it is approved, it means your opinion is in favor or against. There are two procedures known as substantive and procedural. Right now, as I told you, UNSC has 15 members. 15 members में से 10 members are known as temporary, 5 members are known as permanent, 5 members are UK, US, China, France, USSR, now Russia. These are five permanent member, मतलब they are always present in UNSC. बाकी remaining 10 members are chosen. By United Nations General Assembly for a two years tenure, India has served, I think, eight times. India has been eight times temporary member. Clear? Hai? Temporary members are chosen every second year for a two years tenure by a by General Assembly among themselves. India has served around eight times. Right now, we are member. Nahi hai iske. So ten plus. Five, five people are always present. Ten people are shuffled every second year among all the one ninety three member, excluding B fives. Now, what does it mean? UN may there is something called double veto. UN may there is something called, and this is the point of contention. This is why India has proposed this. UN may there is something called as double veto. Now, what is this double veto? Because any of the un efforts all the measures chapter 6 chapter 7 article 42 if i have to pass those measures i require at least 9 people to agree out of 15 any proposal in which 9 member of unsc vote in favor is accepted let's say tomorrow uh, unsc have a resolution that uh, israel has israel has done war crimes in Gaza, and so Israel must be made to pay monetary compensation to Gaza. Can it can pass a resolution by nine by fifteen majority? Then Israel must pay. If Israel does not pay, it will be considered as a violation of UNSC resolution. Then UNSC can penalize by any major economic sanction, rail sanction, whatever. Clear? Wa? Ab cash yaha pe kya aata hai? There are two kind of issues: substantive and procedural. Any issue which is substantive, in that these nine members must include P five. कुछ समझ में आया? All resolutions are passed by nine by fifteen, but any issue which is substantive, in that issue these nine members must include P five. This is basically a veto. If you are a P five member and you don't vote in favor of a proposal. Let's say the voting is fourteen each to fifteen. Fourteen members of UNSC vote in favor of punishing Israel, and USA veto. मतलब USA vote no. तब भी कुछ नहीं हो सकता. Because USA must be in the agreed members. This is one veto. अब what is substantive, what is procedural, will be decided by P five itself. 
That's why it is called double veto. Dobara repeat karta hu. How double veto works? I India take a proposal to UNSC. Let's punish Israel for war crime in Gaza. So as soon as the issue will come, the P5 have to decide is it substantive or not. If P5 says it is substantive, so it is substantive. Kahani khatam. So first veto the email jata hai. Because I can decide what is substantive. Or as soon as I say it is substantive, it require my vote to get passed. That's why it is called double veto. Sabko samajh raha hai kaise kaam karta hai double veto. Ab this is the problem. P5 countries use this veto whenever they like. ठीक है अब आते हैं न्यूज पे लेट्स कम टू द स्टार्टिंग क्या हुआ सो देर आर टू न्यूज फर्स्ट इंडिया इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ ग्रुप ऑफ नेशन नोन एज जी फोर इंडिया इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ ग्रुप ऑफ नेशन नोन एज जी फोर इन दिस यू हैव इंडिया जर्मनी जापान और आई थिंक ब्राजील है चौथा हाँ हाँ ब्राजील है ठीक है तो इंडिया जर्मनी जापान एंड ब्राजील टुगेदर दे आर नोन एज जी फोर दीज कंट्रीज हैव रिसेंटली गिवन अ प्रपोजल टू द यूनाइटेड नेशन सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल रिफॉर्म दे वॉन्ट सम चेंजेस इन यूएनएससी फॉर विच दे हैव गिवन अ प्रपोजल पहला न्यूज सेकेंड यूएनएससी में दे वॉज अ रेजोल्यूशन यूनाइटेड नेशन सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल में दे वॉज अ रेजोल्यूशन विच से that there shall be immediate cease fire on the gazan war and all hostages must be released by hamas catch yahan pe ye hai america vetoed every time this time america abstained abstained ka matlab america neither voted in favor nor voted against matlab tacitly america is saying i agree with this something israel is very angry about because understand israel is always known as america's outpost in middle east israel survives on america america is the mother you can call that israel that nurtures is israel clear so this time what has happened us has withholded itself so basically us is saying please stop this war ab aisa us ne kyon kara maine aapko pehle bhi samjhaya you are living in information age in this is narrative matters more than anything else what is happening i told you earlier also hamas war what is happening in gaza is the hamas the so called terrorist organization is in gaza they carried out rocket fires on israel around 1300 something people died israel as a counter is carrying out a war on hamas but hamas may be dying or may not be dying who is really dying there the people of gaza it's a humanitarian tragedy i think more than 14000 or something people have died niche hoga more than 14000 something people have died in gaza and i think 40000 something are critically injured including children women everyone it is becoming a humanitarian disaster upar uh, se you are living in internet age and they are very easy you have a phone with a camera capture any video that is what is doing you are capturing videos and they are circulating in the entire middle east and muslims mein there is a problem known as muslim umaha islam believes that all muslims are one something you call muslim umaha or islamic state terrorist organization ni concept islam does not differentiate among muslims for it muslims are muslims of any nature of any place तो गवर्नमेंट मे नॉट बिलीव इन दैट गवर्नमेंट आर रियल उन्हें कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता इस्लाम इस्लाम सब वो यूज करती है दे डोंट केयर अबाउट एनीथिंग बट द पीपल ऑफ दोज कंट्री डू एंड दिस इज अमेरिका नोज इज बिकमिंग अ क्रिटिकल पॉइंट फॉर अमेरिका अमेरिका नीड मिडल ईस्ट पर्टिकुलरली टू काउंटर चाइना द मोर दिस वॉर गोज द मोर एवरी वन नोज इन दर्ल्ड दैट इसराइल इज नथिंग बट अमेरिकन आउटपोस्ट the more this war goes the more the gazans are killed the more the sympathy for gazans will increase the more the hate toward israel increase and the more america's foreign policy objective of bringing middle eastern country away from china decreases so the people will resist they will resist american advances so understand america has not voted in favor 
not because it loves gazans nobody loves gazans it is because america does not want to deal with foreign policy problem clear aur yahan pe abhi yaad rakhiyega hamas war isliye nahi ho rahi ki some humanitarian tragedy maine aapko reason bataya tha pehle bhi this war is happening because saudi arabia was to sign an agreement with israel to recognize israel and this was a big concern for iran understand iran and saudi arabia are fighting like they are like india pakistan of middle east iran shia saudi sunni it's a sect of islam and they are fighting death this india pakistan are fighting they are fighting in that scenario iran america hates iran but loves saudi because america loves all autocracies america yeah. outside america love dictatorship they are easy to control they are easy to use democracy aasan nahi hota chalana so america hates iran iran hates saudi so america loves saudi america was trying to have a negotiation why shouldn't saudi arabia recognize israel since the creation of israel all muslim countries are on a war with israel because they believe israel is illegally occupied palestine it was a palestine state israeli came and they subdued them so they are on a war if saudi arabia signs agreement with israel then iran fears iran will be isolated in the middle east so what iran did jaise iran ko pata laga ki they are about to sign iran provided weapon and money to hamas and asked them shuru ho jao hamas launched attack on israel israel countered ab now saudi cannot sign agreement i told you muslim uma saudi signs agreement then saudi will witness a revolution within saudi saudian people will ask you are signing an agreement with a killer of muslims saudi ek kar nahi payega to ye war sirf aur sirf isliye hui hai because america wanted them to become friend iran does not want ab people kyon mar rahe hain the people of gaza can flee to nearby country lebanon pass mein hai syria mein chale jao egypt mein aa jao all have closed borders nahi wahan to nahi ja paoge egypt aa sakte ho egypt has closed border for gazans seedhi si baat ye hai if gazans leave gaza and goes to egypt egypt may israel cannot bomb it will be a declaration of war with the country it can bomb only gaza to israel keh bhi raha tha starting mein i am giving you a usne starting mein shuruaat nahi ki thi it said i am giving you a cooling period jisko nikalna hai nikal jao but 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 uh, egypt did egypt ne border close kar diya kyon close kiya understand agar gazans wahan se nikal gaye to marenge kaise marenge nahi to news kaise banegi aur news nahi banegi to international media mein israel ki beizti kaise hogi so a large number of gazans are dying because some countries have decided that their life worth less than an agreement that is what is happening in gaza sabko samajh mein aaya and everyone is playing politics that is what i told you ir mein ek cheez badi clear hai religion caste gender jo bhi hai they are all used for political purposes nobody cares about anyone so this news is clear so this is a significant achievement acha kaam hua hai chahe america ne apni apne reason se hi kara sahi at least cease fire ke liye bol diya gaya hai so the chances is israel will obey this clear ab aate hain india wali baat pe g4 g4 has given a proposal to reform this drama to reform this drama they are saying we want a permanent G4 are asking that we want to become a permanent member of uh, UNSC, and you see this India's foreign minister, <coughs> Aditi. When you will do IR, वहाँ पे आप समझेंगे शिया सुन्नी का drama क्या है. It started in a very particular context of Iranian revolution. Iran में revolution आता है, Iran becomes a democracy. Saudi Arabia डर जाता है, मगर Saudi Arabia से मुनार की. उसे लगता है कि मेरे पे भी democracy ना आ जाए. तो Saudi Arabia उठाता है किताब जिसका नाम है कुरान कहता है चलो पुरानी किताबें निकालते हैं एंड देयर ही फाइंड समथिंग ओहो शिया सुन्नी लेट्स यूज इट शिया सुन्नी डिवाइड स्टार्ट बिकॉज सऊदी डज नॉट वांट टू हैव टू हैव अ डेमोक्रेटिक रिवॉल्यूशन और कुछ नहीं रिलीजन का इसी तरह इस्तेमाल होता है एनीवे सो जी4 कंट्रीज वांट अ परमानेंट मेंबरशिप दैट इज अ प्रपोजल लेट्स सी द प्रपोजल इन डिटेल दे से देयर इज अ अंडर रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ कंट्रीज लाइक अफ्रीका एशिया पैसिफिक एंड लैटिन अमेरिका which undermines the unsc legitimacy and its ability to address global challenges 
this is a statement india's foreign minister jay shankar says every time ab kabhi bhi jay shankar ke utha lena aur whenever he is talking about un ye line hamesha bolta hai that india needs a permanent seat otherwise un is losing its legitimacy every time jay shankar says this why because we want a membership ab suggestion kya hai suggestion is to increase the membership from 15 to 25 year 26 out of which they will be both permanent and non permanent member in which six will be permanent members six matlab four g4 g4 country plus any two african countries to so expand the membership from 15 to 25 26 out of which there will be six new permanent members that is g4 plus any two african countries and there will be remaining new non permanent members that is a proposal given by in uh, the g4 countries plus they say i know you are fearful of veto power if we become permanent we will also enjoy veto power then we will beat pakistan any time because we know un cannot do anything against us biggest advantage of becoming permanent member is veto iske bina to bekar hai power the biggest thing you get by becoming permanent member is veto power it means कलेक्टिव सिक्योरिटी कैन नॉट ऑपरेट ऑन यू तो पहला क्वेश्चन आता है ऐसी भंगार पावर हमने बनाई क्यों वाई वी मेड दिस इसका यस पर्टिकुलरली रशिया हुज आइडिया इज यूनाइटेड नेशन अमेरिका वुड्रो विल्सन फोर्टीन पॉइंट स्पीच कलेक्टिव सिक्योरिटी इट वॉज अमेरिकन आइडिया यू हैव एन एनिमी एन इज टेलिंग यू अ गुड एडवाइस आप नहीं सुनोगे ओके okay, मैं मर जाऊंगा पर तेरी नहीं सुनूंगा आई डाई बाय स्मोकिंग मैं पीऊंगा तीन तीन पीऊंगा आज से पीना सुगरता हूँ ठीक द थिंग इज बिकॉज वेन एनमी गिव्स अ गुड एडवाइस यू डोंट टेक इट योर फ्रेंड गिव्स अ बैड एडवाइस यू टेक इट अमेरिका वॉज फाइटिंग विद यू एस इन अ कोल्ड वॉर सिनेरियो एंड अमेरिका इज सेंग टू यू एस यू एस अमेरिका इज सेंग टू यू एस एस आर प्लीज जॉइन माई पोल्यूशन कॉल्ड यूनाइटेड नेशन क्या आप ज्वाइन करोगे अमेरिका यू एस एस आर वो डाई बट विल नेवर ज्वाइन यूनाइटेड नेशन सो एज अ कॉम्प्रोमाइज as a compromise america said okay fine we will have something called veto please join united nations but it will never be used against you aap aa to jao kam se kam aisa humne kyu kara because league of nation isse pehle ek body bana chuke hain before united nation there was a body in the world known as league of nations it, that was based on collective security idea after world war 1 but that body failed because that body may every decision was made by consensus of all members matlab everyone have had veto ab obviously baat hai i am committing aggression on pakistan and if i have veto in un so why would i use it kya main article 42 ko chalne dunga kabhi nahi to league of nation failed to to we learned from league of nation and we created united nation so we reformed it we created a small body of 15 people pehle choti thi baad mein 15 ho gaye and we gave few people power of veto clear hai isliye india ne kya bola hai we will have something called as trial period because everyone is saying you will become permanent member you will use veto the same way other people use so they says try me out first ye pehle try kar lo i will be a good person aise baat nahi hai give me permanent membership and try me for some time and see how i behave if you like it then give me veto ठीक है बेसिकली दैट इज वट यू कॉल ट्रायल पीरियड सो दे आर टू प्रपोजल प्लीज रिमेंबर एंड रिमेंबर दिस प्रपोजल इंक्रीज मेंबरशिप फ्रॉम 15 टू 25 26 विद सिक्स परमानेंट एंड रिमेनिंग नॉन परमानेंट मेंबर्स द परमानेंट मेंबर्स विल हैव अ ट्रायल पीरियड इन व्हिच दे विल नॉट यूज वीटो दे विल नॉट हैव वीटो क्लियर अब क्वेश्चन ये आता डू यू थिंक इंडिया विल गेट अ परमानेंट मेंबरशिप कभी नहीं कभी हो ही नहीं सकता ये अंटिल लेस वी एवर थर्ड वर्ल्ड वॉर तब हो जाएगा द रीजन बींग कोई क्यों देगा इंडिया को परमानेंट मेंबरशिप वाई एंड आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट पी फाइव कंट्रीज दे विल नॉट अपोज नो कंट्री इन दिस वर्ल्ड एनी कंट्री यू पिक एक्सेप्ट भूटान वो ठीक है ठीक है नो कंट्री इन दिस वर्ल्ड विल अलाउ इंडिया टू बिकम अ परमानेंट मेंबर बिकॉज दे आर ऑलरेडी कंसर्न विद पी फाइव देन दे हैव टू बी कंसर्न विद पी इलेवन अगर छह और बढ़ गए तो पी इलेवन हो जाएगा पांच से हम परेशान है हम ग्यारह को क्यों रखेंगे वहां पे द थिंग इज वेरी क्लियर इंडिया कैन आस्क एज मच एज इज वॉन्ट इट विल नेवर गोना है 
then the question comes is why we are asking ye hame bhi pata hai hame nahi milegi jay shankar ko bhi ye pata hai but why we are saying dekhiye you you claim something when you believe you can act ab ab upsc padhne aaya to ummeed to hogi na thodi bahut to ki main clear kar lunga ya kar lungi agar zero ummeed hoti to yahan thoda hote basically india is trying to show to the world that i am capable of having it hame pata hai hame nahi milegi but by taking claim we are making a statement that we believe we are at the level that we can sit with the great powers together ba samajh bhai what is india's intention india is not going to get it theek hai par claim karne mein kya jata hai anyway this is what i have for you baki limitation isme wohi hai isme veto power ka kuch hai nahi because duniya isse to pareshan hai veto se the world is concerned about veto power why you have a ukraine war because ussr has a veto power where why you are having gaza war because usa is a veto power तो एवरीवन इज अ वीडियो पावर ये मेन तो हमें यही हटाना है देखिए इसमें यही कमाल का है इंडिया इज नॉट सेइंग रिमूव वीडियो इंडिया सेइंग मेक मी परमानेंट ठीक है तो बेसिक लॉजिक सिंपल सा है जैसे मैंने आपको बताया यू वांट टू हेल्प अदर पीपल बट फर्स्ट गेटिंग पावर फॉर योरसेल्फ पहले मैं आईएएस बन जाऊं फिर मैं लोगों की मदद करने जाऊंगा ठीक है तो दैट इज व्हाट वी से वो हां ठीक है क्वेश्चन एक केस स्टडी लेते हैं लेट्स से दे डिसाइड टू डू दिस आपको वीडियो पावर समझाया लेट से दे डिसाइड उनका दिल बड़ा हो जाता कहते कर देते हैं यार बुरा मत मानो लेट्स डू इट एनी रिफॉर्म लेट्स से रिमूव वीटो एक्सपेंड वीटो और एज सिंग मेक पी फाइव रोटेशनल कोई भी ड्रामा उसको करने के लिए यू हैव टू अमेंड यू एन चार्टर अमेंडमेंट के बिना नहीं होगा एंड यू एन चार्टर अमेंडमेंट का प्रोसीजर बड़ा कमाल का है The amendment procedure says that any amendment to the UN Charter must be passed by United Nations General Assembly by two-third majority. This two-third must include P5. <laughs> Plus, it must be ratified. पहले तो it must be passed by UNGA by two-third majority. Then it will be ratified by at least two-third countries. Ratified means in their parliament they will pass it by at least two-third countries. That must include. P5. So basically, UN Charter cannot be amended without P5's agreement. अगर two third आप achieve कर भी लो, तब भी P5. And who is opposing India's membership? आप लोग guess कर सकते हैं. Pakistan. China इन चीजों में नहीं पड़ता. Understand? इसे जरूरत नहीं है. Understand? You come to this was real power होती है. वो तभी सामने आता है जब काम हो. ये मतलब कि शोषावाजी कौन करते हैं? इनमें power होती है. दिखाना चाहते हैं. So the thing is, as soon as we Stake a claim. Pakistan has formed a group known as Coffee Club. Pakistan has formed a counter group known as Coffee Club, and they passed a resolution. Coffee Club ne known as Uniting for Uniting for Consensus. What is Uniting for Consensus? It says any extension. or any change in permanent member must be done by by consensus of united nation abhi kisse hoga majorities any change in permanent membership will happen by two third majority pakistan kya keh raha hai nahi two third majority nahi absolute consensus matlab all 193 members of the united nation must agree to the change kehne ka matlab pakistan is saying giving give me veto power over india's membership This is what you call coffee club or uniting for consensus. Okay, well, India is not. Everyone opposes it. Germany's opposition, Brazil and Argentina opposes it. Africa, in Africa, there is a war. Who will win? Two countries, Africa. Who will win? Which country? 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 so everyone who have a claim there is a counter claim so please understand ye debate ke liye acha hai discussion ke liye acha hai par iska hona kuch nahi hai anyway clear please remember this <coughs> acha 32000 log mare hain abhi tak <coughs> very good chaliye aage badhte hain clear baaki aap pad lena jo bhi hai isme ye kuch bekar logo ke maine naam likhe hain जोजेफ एस नाई फॉर्मर सेक्रेटरी जनरल कोफी अन्नान वगैरह इन्होंने कुछ बोला इसके बारे में देख लेना एज ए टोल्ड यू वेन यू राइट एन आंसर ट्राई टू यूज एटलीस्ट वन स्कॉलर पर आंसर 
जीएस में ज्यादा मत करना इफ यूज टू मेनी स्कॉलर तो फिर मजा नहीं आता ट्राई टू यूज एटलीस्ट वन स्कॉलर वन एग्जाम्पल रियल लाइफ करंट अफेयर एग्जाम्पल कोई आपने बुक पढ़ी है कहीं पे उससे नहीं कैन यू राइट एन एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम करंट अफेयर बिकॉज एवरी वन नोज करंट अफेयर और अच्छा लगेगा वेन एन इवेल्यूएटेड चेक्स योर आंसर उसमें आप करंट अफेयर से लिंक करके कुछ लिखते हैं और यू कैन यूज दैट इन एवरी पेपर चाहे इतिहास का आंसर क्यों ना लिख रहे हो If you're writing a history answer and if you have a relevant example in current affairs, you can put it. Everyone will like it. Unko samajh mein aayega. You are not just a rote learner. You are having linkages also. UPSC loves this process. Okay, so one more scholar try. In this, see what he says. Ramesh Thakur says G4 should adopt non-cooperation with UN. That means come out of UN and say bye bye, Tata. We are going. You are not interested in reforms. Kofi Annan, the former Secretary General, says. The world has changed, so does the UN must change. <coughs> Up answer to the last question: If UN does not reform, will it become irrelevant? Uska answer diya hai George F. S. Nye ne. He is a very important scholar. George F. S. Nye has suggested that yes. There is a crisis of legitimacy. I agree. <coughs> yes, there is creation of other bodies like G20 because people are frustrated with the UN. I agree, but yet there is no body in the world which can match UN. Bakis ne bola UN has invented peacekeeping mission, economic council, and UN literally command control over people's psyche. The blue helmet. यूएन के जो सोल्जर्स होते हैं उनका ब्लू हेलमेट होता है यूएन लिखा होता है इट हैज बिकम द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ऑफ यूएन यूएन इज विजिबल एवरी वन रिस्पेक्ट यूएन चाहे वो समझते हैं उसकी कमियां फिर भी वो रिस्पेक्ट करते हैं एंड दैट्स वाई ही सैड ही हैज टेकन अ कोर्ट फ्रॉम डाग हैमर एस के जोल्ड ही वॉज अ फॉर्मर सेक्रेटरी जनरल दैट यू एन वॉज नेवर क्रिएटेड टू टू टेक मैन काइंड टू हैवन इट वॉज क्रिएटेड टू प्रिवेंट मैन काइंड फ्रॉम हेल तो यूएन का पर्पस कभी आपको आसमान पर ले जाना नहीं आपको जमीन में घुसने से बचाने का है मतलब इट द ओनली पर्पस इट हैज इज टू प्रिवेंट वॉर्स अग्रीड इट हैज सम वीकनेसेस बट लार्जली इट हैज बीन सक्सेसफुल क्लियर चलिए तो दैट वॉज सेकेंड न्यूज इन विच आई हैव कवर टू न्यूज टूगेदर अब आते हैं नेक्स्ट पे Uh, it is a Indian Employment Report 2024. For prelims purpose, remember the name of the report and the publishing organization. It is the report of ILO, International Labour. I think it's a member of United Nations, ILO. Uh, what are the sources of this this report? नेशनल सैंपल सर्वे पीरियोडिक लेबर फोर्स सर्वे ये सारे गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया के सर्वे हैं इस बार मेन्स में क्वेश्चन भी आया था हाउ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया कैलकुलेट एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट इंडिया इसका आंसर ये था यू हैव टू राइट अबाउट नेशनल सैंपल सर्वे पीरियोडिक लेबर फोर्स सर्वे एनुअल सर्वे ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज नेशनल अकाउंट स्टैटिस्टिक एंड द रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया क्लैम्स डेटा दिस ऑल आर डेटा बेस ऑफ इंडिया This report ने क्या करा है इट हैज बेसिकली सीन ऑल दिस डेटा एंड एज ट्राई टू मेक अ सेंस आउट ऑफ इट लेट सी वट इज अंस फाइंडिंग ऑफ द रिपोर्ट अ टोटल ऑफ एट्टी थ्री परसेंट ऑफ द ऑल अनएम्प्लॉयड आर यूथ ऑफ इंडिया तो जितने लोग अनएम्प्लॉयड है उसमें सबसे ज्यादा कौन है आप लोगों बेसिकली क्यों कॉमन सेंस है आपसे नीचे वाले पढ़ रहे हैं आपसे ऊपर वालों की ये जितनी हो गई है कि उन्होंने जॉब पाने की इच्छा छोड़ दी है This is what you call giving up the desire to have a job. Unemployment is counted only for two kind of people: one who are not working, looking for work, and the second who have desire to work. If you say in a survey, "I have no desire to have a job," you are not counted as unemployed. Please remember this: in no survey, if you say that I have no desire for a job. You will never be counted as unemployed. Unemployed, वो मानते हैं who had a job, lost a job, looking for a job, and desire for a job. 
if you say i have no desire for a job you are not counted as unemployed in any survey having said that what is happening in india is a common sense sir what happened you get graduated you try for 4 to 5 years to get a job a good paying job low paying job mil jati hai a good paying job you are unable to find then you move to either agriculture or start a small business isliye majority of the people who are unemployed are youth common sense sir jo aap se old hai they have no desire of working anymore they are not looking to find a job ya to mil chuki hogi ya unka desire hi khatam ho gaya hai आप लोग ढूंढ रहे हैं कोशिश कर रहे हैं आपके नीचे वाले पढ़ रहे हैं तो दोनों आ ही नहीं सकते इसलिए मेजोरिटी ऑफ द लोग कौन है आप ठीक है यस काइंड ऑफ समर्थ था बिल्कुल सही बोले नेक्स्ट दिस रिपोर्ट हाइलाइट्स देर इज अ राइज इन यूथ एम्प्लॉयमेंट यस यूथ एम्प्लॉयमेंट में राइज हुआ है पर प्रॉब्लम कहाँ है प्रॉब्लम है ये कैसी एम्प्लॉयमेंट है दैट इज वट आई टोल्ड यू earlier also you people have a mismatch of what skills and the job required aur yahi isme dekhiye last point hai this highlights ab mujhe ummeed nahi thi ta bura haal hai 75% of young boys unko itna nahi pata ki email mein attachment kaise bhejte hain 75% of your generation does not know how to send an attachment in an email 60% ko copy paste ye to yaar main bachpan mein seekha tha humne ye nahi aata aur 90% ko spreadsheet istemal karni nahi aati इट्स अ वेरी डायर सिक्वेशन सो ये सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट यूथ को ई मेल अटैचमेंट नहीं आता जो आपके लिए तो शायद कॉमन सेंस होगा ठीक है सिक्सटी परसेंट को कॉपी पेस्ट फाइल करना नहीं आता और नाइन्टी परसेंट को स्प्रेड शीट नहीं आती स्प्रेड शीट एक्सेल वाली जो होती है दैट इज वेरी बेसिक यू कैन गो इन एनी ऑफिस चाहे आप कोई भी जॉब कर रहे हो स्प्रेड शीट इज टूडेज बेसिक इन रिक्वायरमेंट एंड नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ द पीपल हु आर अनएम्प्लॉयड डू नॉट नो हाउ टू यूज अ स्प्रेड शीट This is a big problem. Skills do not match the requirement. इसके रीजन आप गवर्नेंस में करेंगे वन रीजन आई टोल्ड यू हमारा एजुकेशन सिस्टम पथेटिक है नाइन्टी परसेंट लिया हो नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट लिया हो नाइन्टी एट परसेंट लिया हो दे डू नॉट फोकस ऑन स्किल्स चाहे आप तीस परसेंट लाओ स्किल्स तो होनी चाहिए स्किल्स लीड्स टू जॉब मार्क्स से कोई किसी को जॉब नहीं देता दैट इज अ क्वेश्चन आज बाय आनंद महिंद्रा द ओनर ऑफ महिंद्रा there was a person who asked him to tell sir what was your score in the 10th 12th he said it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because the position that i am at only thing that matters is my skills and experience what i score doesn't matter person mark sheet dal di thi acche score nahi the anyway point is it literally does not matter what you score in 10th 12th aur humne hamare desh mein itna hua banaya hua hai 10th 12th ka bhai 90 se kam aaya to aap se nalayak koi nahi it isliye upsc does not care about your marks There's a perception among the student. If you have very good marks in 10th, 12th, UPSC will give you extra marks. Ulta hai iska. If you have very good score in your bachelor's and 10th, 12th, then the interview panel has an increased expectation from you. आप खुद को imagine करिए आप interview ले रहे हैं किसी का. आपको एकदम पता लगा उसके उसके physics में 95 आए हैं. तो आपकी natural curiosity नहीं बनती यार इसे physics के question पूछता हूँ मैं. और अगर वो जवाब नहीं दे पाया तो आपको बुरा लगेगा यार काहे के 95 है तेरे? put yourself at the at the position of a evaluator wo koi aasman se aaye hue aliens nahi hai wo aap hi ke beech mein se nikle hue log hai and they have a natural curiosity if you have very good marks in 10th 12th and aapka bachelor's mein there is a natural curiosity in the interview panel to ask good quality questions and they expect a good answer because you are have been a bright student through and through Slay, if you remember that clip went viral. Kisi ne chhodi mujhe nahi pata. That IIT gold medalist, five years set him de raha tha. What was the problem? He was a gold medalist. So, your interviewer expect karega na gold medal wala jawab. Ab aapne B Tech kariye civil engineering se PSIR optional hai apka. Kahan se yaad hogi civil engineering? Baat samajh mein aaye to understand. This is the problem. It is highlighted here. And UPSC isliye parva nahi karta marks ki. UPSC mein 33 percent pe log IAS bane. There are lot of student who have become IAS, IPS at only thirty three, thirty four percent in tenth twelfth. केवल margin पे pass हुए थे. एक mark नीचे होता तो निकल लेते. And those people have become IAS, IPS. और जो ninety ninety लाए हैं, उनको नहीं मिला कभी IAS, IPS. Understand? This is a different exam. It checks different skills. And UPSC, I can personally guarantee, does not care about your marks. किसी ने वो marks पे question भी नहीं पूछते. 
ये बात अगर आपको पता हो वर्कशॉप जो हमारी हुई थी उसमें लक्ष्मी नारायण जो पहले आए थे उन्होंने ये बात बताई थी क्या उन्होंने बताया कि जो मार्क्स वार्क्स है कोई नहीं दिख रहा दे आर सींग योर दे आर सींग योर प्रेजेंट भाई आपने पिल्लिम्स के लिए यू हैव क्लियर पिल्लिम्स यू हैव मेड्स यू हैव शोन योर क्वालिटी नाउ वी आर चेकिंग योर पर्सनालिटी व्हाट यू स्कोर्ड इन 10th 7th और 8th इयर्स बैक नोबडी केयर्स ठीक है एंड दैट्स इज द पॉइंट हियर इंडियन एजुकेशन सिस्टम फोकस ओनली ऑन मार्क्स इट शुड हैव फोकस ऑन स्किल्स वी शुड हैव एम्प्लॉयमेंट रेडी ग्रेजुएट्स इन इंडिया the second you have a degree final degree you must be able with the skills the way you have in germany germany may every student is made to go for vocational trainings every student i think 70 to 80% of the graduates in germany have skills why because they go who go for skill training hamare mein aisa nahi hota degree karo badi badi baatein karo you will have a degree you will have a lot of knowledge but land to lab connect is missing आपसे एक चीज पूछ लो रियल लाइफ में क्या हो रहा है आप नहीं बता पाओगे जैसे वेरी गुड एग्जांपल इफ यू हैव सीन देयर इज अ स्मॉल बिग बैंग थ्योरी देयर इज अ शो एंड देयर इज अ वेरी स्मॉल क्लिप उसमें बहुत अच्छी है ऑल द पीपल इन दैट शो आर फिजिसिस्ट हाई रैंक फिजिसिस्ट हु आर डूइंग रिसर्च दैट सन लेवल रिसर्च वहां पे हम गॉड पार्टिकल ढूंढ रहे हैं ना इस तरह की रिसर्च एंड देयर वाज अ देयर वाज अ क्या बोलते हैं इसे वेटर देयर वाज अ गर्ल हु वाज अ वेटर शी दे वर इन द कार शी आस्क्ड देम हर कार ब्रोक डाउन she asks them does anyone know how internal combustion engine work everyone says ha me pata hai then she asks in this car everyone say hame nahi pata what is the difference they know the theory how internal combustion engine works but when it comes to really looking at the engine they have no idea which part is which a mechanic know better than them that is a mismatch of knowledge and skills and this report highlights the same india has a severe problem of skill mismatch and you read any current affairs you read any news on economy particularly related to employment ye point har koi bolta hai chahe capitalist ho chahe government everyone says the same thing to iske liye karna kya hai education reforms we need to make skill training an integral part of education in india but problem hamare parents ki bhi aati hai they don't like us they don't like ki hum iti karne jaye often iti is a degree where they taught little skills and there is a perception in india it's a it's a skill for illiterate it's a skill for who cannot do big degrees they want you 11 12 see the btech my iit job bas samajh mein aa rahi hai problem kahan pe aa rahi hai dekhiye btech to bhi theek hai because btech technical degree hai wahan pe skill sikhaye jate hain i am talking on non btech courses non btech courses ke bahut hi bure halat hai btech ka aap keh sakte hain 20% to non btech ka 10% hai maybe 5 bhi ho sakta clear hai so please remember it's a very important point and this point you can write in any question related to employment and unemployment the mismatch of skills and next india has the highest youth unemployment rate mera aapko batai diya unemployment among women is more than men again common sense hiring a woman is a tedious task hiring a man is less tedious task hiring a woman security ka dhyan rakho sexual harassment ka dhyan rakho late night kaam nahi karwa sakte kabhi bhi call nahi kar sakte men ke kaas mein men ke case mein you have no such kind of problem flexibility make them work any time you want call them any time bring them any time regress work so isliye often women find less employment than men to clear two statistic pehla there is a employment scenario in india unemployment scenario in india majority of the unemployed are young indians male have better employment than female and the biggest reason this report find out is the lack of skills ha uh, ye baat to sahi bole aap ab kuch positives some positives are there is a rise women employment has risen in self employment and unpaid family work ab this is a problem uh, i don't know is a positive bole or negative bole सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट इंक्रीज कर रहा है बट अंडरस्टैंड सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट डज नॉट मीन क्वालिटी एम्प्लॉयमेंट ये पॉइंट पहले लिख चुके हैं स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट यही था कि एम्प्लॉयमेंट बढ़ा है यस देयर इज अ इंक्रीज ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट बट पुअर क्वालिटी यू आर हैविंग अ जॉब यू आर गेटिंग 20000 विदाउट एनी सोशल सिक्योरिटी कोई मतलब नहीं है इस जॉब का यू मस्ट हैव सम डिस्पोजेबल इनकम एनी जॉब यू आर डूइंग इफ यू डोंट हैव अ डिस्पोजेबल इनकम डिस्पोजेबल इनकम मींस इनकम व्हिच यू कैन स्पेंड एट विल there is one component of the income which is necessary component to eat to live maan lete you are earning 20000 
and you're spending 90,000 in rent payment uh, and daily commute and everything. So their job is worthless for you until unless it is skill job. You are there just to get skill and then move on. So if you're there in that job out of compulsion, because you have no other avenue available, then you're wasting your time and everyone's time. Because that job is not any work. 20,000 you are getting, agreed. But you're consuming 90,000. You're saving nothing for the future. You have no disposable income. Jobs are increasing, particularly self-employed job, but they are not of good quality. That is the point. Labor productivity has increased. It's a good news because technology has increased. So labor productivity has increased. Female participation rate has increased, particularly in rural areas. I told you distress in rural areas is more than urban areas. And why is it so? तो ठीक है तो जिससे तो कम होना चाहिए वहाँ पे दो रीज़न हाँ थोड़ा आपने सही बोला डेट एग्रीकल्चर एग्रीकल्चर हैज हाई डिस्ट्रेस दूसरा एक और प्रॉब्लम है रूरल एरियाज़ में एवेन्यूज़ ऑफ़ एम्प्लॉयमेंट इस लेस अबन एरियाज़ में यू हैव अ सर्विस सेक्टर अबन एरियाज़ में सर्विसेज़ आर मोर रूरल एरियाज़ India manufacturing is in pathetic condition. That's why rural area is distressed. Agriculture is already stressed. Manufacturing is not available. Urban areas may at least you have services. This way urban areas appear more prosperous. So this report clearly tells you that female participation has increased in rural areas and stress is more than that. And there is a gradual shift from agriculture to this I have already explained to you before. Which is the cause? The cause of the government. There is a shift from agriculture to non-farm, but in construction, not in manufacturing. We need shift from farm to manufacturing. Manufacturing jobs are stable and they provide alternative employment. Construction jobs are temporary jobs. Today I am building a highway, I have you. Tomorrow I am building a highway somewhere else. Here is the highway. Then you will get a job here. I want you to have a manufacturing job, which is a bit stable. So in India, right now, the highest employer is agriculture. Second highest is construction, which is not a very good job. Because of this, India's unemployment has decreased. But it doesn't mean that India's employment scenario is good. That's why the Pali statement was the majority of the employment in India is poor quality. Clear? Okay, okay. This is the news. Last time, India TB report. It is from your science and tech. Science and tech से देख लेते हैं. As per the India TB report 2024 published by Union Health Ministry, the disparity between projected and confirmed cases of tuberculosis is diminishing. Good news है हमारे लिए. That the cases that is likely to happen and the cases which are being detected, उनके बीच का distance कम हो गया. So from science and tech, let's understand what is this tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is a bacterial disease caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. I have to write the name of the tuberculosis. I have to write the name of the tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. Mycobacterium tuberculosis. So it's a bacterial disease. What is the problem? The problem is it is communicable. It is communicable disease. Now, what happens in India? And it takes time to show symptoms. This is the corona time. Corona takes time to do symptom. So you have that bacteria in you. So it means it is starting multiplying in your body. Starting getting you ill. You are coughing. You cough. And that cough is often inhaled by somebody else. Particularly in public places. Your cough is often inhaled by somebody else in public places. They get the bacteria. And that person cough, other person get the bacteria. Because it takes time to replicate. Then you will go to the core. Then you, will, sorry, then you will go to the hospitals. But by that time, you have spent sufficient time polluting everyone. Particularly in Islam, majority of the TB cases comes from particularly rural areas because there is no proper medical facility. You have TB, you have spread it to a lot of people. This is the problem with TB. That's why India, I think along with Pakistan or Indo country or in the world are the only last places of TB. It is becoming hard to eradicate. What do we need to do? Surveillance system. 
एज सुन एज यू गैट द टी बी यू मस्ट बी मस्ट कैच इट इसलिए मैंने आपको एक सजेशन दिया था नहीं सर आपकी क्लास में नहीं हुआ था गवर्नेंस में देर इज अ प्रॉपर चैप्टर ऑन हेल्थ वहां पे यू डू एवरी डायमेंशन ऑफ हेल्थ वहां पे देर इज अगल थिंग दैट देर शेल बी अ कंपल्सरी एनुअल चेकअप सजेशन है इंडिया में देर इज नथिंग कॉल एनुअल चेकअप और महंगा नहीं होता है ये इफ यू गो इन अ प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल मुश्किल से हजार रुपए का पड़ता है अ फुल बॉडी चेकअप takes around thousand rupees. Government can do a full body checkup of every Indian every year, not in the same day throughout the year. For three sixty four days, what you can do is you can go to any nearby hospital and get your annual checkup. A government को मुश्किल से because in mass होगा मुश्किल से सरकार को पड़ेगा तीन सौ चार सौ रुपए per person. इतना सरकार एक व्यक्ति के लिए एक साल में ले सकती है. Advantage if there will be annual health checkup if you have a disease. We will get to know it before it becomes severe. अभी क्या होता है? You have a disease. You think मुझे बिखार आ रहा है? चलो PCM खा लेता हूँ. Cold हो रहा है? चलो decold डोल खा लेता हूँ. ठीक है उससे ठीक हो जाते हो. लेकिन the virus in your body, the bacteria in your body, it alienates, it mutates, and then it shows the true face. इसलिए पहले क्या होता है? Slowly बीमार पड़ते हो, फिर आप बुरा वाला बीमार पड़ते हो. Because that bacteria, that virus does not die by your decold total or PCM. पर आपको नहीं पता ना वो डिजीज यू हैव एंड इंडिया में हेल्थ केयर इज वेरी कॉस्टली सरकारी में जाओगे तो जगह नहीं है प्राइवेट वाला आपसे डेढ़ हजार रुपये मांगता है एक एक कंसल्टेशन के सो प्राइवेट यू कैन नॉट अफोर्ड गवर्नमेंट इज पथेटिकली अवेलेबल इसके लिए बट वी कैन डू एनुअल कंपल्सरी हेल्थ चेक इतना सरकार कर सकती है सस्ता एल्टरनेटिव है इससे आपको भी पता लग जाएगा और हमें भी पता लग जाएगा हु हैज वट and once you find out ki something is wrong with my report you can pursue further ba samajh bhai is a very cheap alternative mujhe nahi pata kyun nahi kar rahi sarkar you check it out fine so this report highlight there is a bridge and gap and the significant drop in undetected tb lagbhag kitna ho gaya 2.3 lakh abhi bhi bahut zyada hai waise still around 2.3 lakh people are undetected or we detect them late 2.3 lakhs people are still being undetected, still being detected late. So we have to bridge this also. But okay, then it's okay. And the government effort is next year portal. And how we have bridged this gap? Because we have included private healthcare. Before the government used to follow a program known as DOT program. DOT program is as soon as you identify with tuberculosis, government gets free medication. It's a six or seven month course. Continuously, you have to take it. प्रॉब्लम कहा आती है कुछ आपके साथ भी है कुछ सरकार के साथ भी है एज सुन एज यू स्टार्ट फीलिंग गुड यू लीव मेडिसिन प्रॉपर कोर्स ऑफ सिक्स टू सेवन मंथ यू टू टेक इट कॉन्टिन्यूसली एज सुन एज स्टार्ट फीलिंग गुड आफ्टर वन और टू मंथ यू स्टॉप टेकिंग मेडिकेशन वट एपन द बैक्टीरिया इन योर बॉडी म्यूटेट्स एंड देन इट लीड टू सेकेंड फॉर्म दो फॉर्म होती है इसकी नोन एज मल्टी ड्रग MDR TB. First, you will have a TB. If you don't take medication or take half medication, what will happen? Your bacteria will mutate into MDR TB. It is resistant to first line of drug. However, thankfully, right now we can treat MDR TB. But uske liye fir heavy dose lagta hai. But heavy dose, understand, kills your body also. When you take a medication, it not only kills the bacteria which is concerned, it also kills the good one. It takes a toll on the body. As an body, but बहुत असर पड़ता है. And you see, there are a lot of organs which are impacted. So the longer the course, and these are heavy medicine. So TB, you have stopped in between. You were having light medicine. Now you have to take heavier medicine, which takes a toll on health also. Plus, if you again do the same mechanism, then you will go to. Extensively drug resistant TB. इस पॉइंट पे सिर्फ दुआ काम आती है दवा नहीं ठीक है इसके बाद बस दुआ करो कि वो वायरस खुद ही चला जाए आपके बस शरीर से इट्स वेरी हार्ड टू ट्रीट एक्स डी आर टी बी वेरी हार्ड इट कैन बट इट डिपेंड अपॉन द बॉडी इज रिस्पॉन्स नॉट एवरी बॉडी रिस्पॉन्स टू द ट्रीटमेंट इट बिकम्स वेरी हार्ड एट दिस पॉइंट मार के चलिए फिफ्टी फिफ्टी चांसेस है आपके बचने के ठीक है अवॉइड इज हैपनिंग एज ए टोल्ड यू लेक्सिटी ऑफ द पीपल एज वेल एज द गवर्नमेंट Government do not do the follow up, and also people get lexed. Ah, I'm fine. 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 I'm fine.
और अगर रहते ना नींबू पानी पीने ठीक हो जाएगा क्यों टेंशन ले रहा है तो घर के नुस्खे जो लगाते रहते हैं ना तो दैट इज अ कंसर्न एनी क्लियर है तो दीज आर द्री फॉर्म टीवी प्लीज रिमेंबर टीबो क्लासेज एम डी आर एंड एक्स डी आर टीबी दे ग्रेजुएट स्लोली इफ यू टेक स्टॉप मेडिकेशन इन बिटवीन और यू टेक होम मेड मेडिसिन ड्रामा रिपोर्ट सजेस्ट दैट दे इज अ डिक्रीज इन द गैप ऑफ आइडेंटिफाइड एंड नॉन आइडेंटिफाइड स्टिल इट इज टू पॉइंट थ्री लैक जो कि बड़ा नंबर है वी हैव टू रिड्यूस इट टू एट लीस्ट लेस देन फिफ्टी थाउजेंड गवर्नमेंट इज टेकिंग एफर्ट में एफर्ट लिखे हैं देख लेना यार जो भी पढ़ लेना निक्षे विक्षे नाम में इनके प्लीज रिमेंबर द एफर्ट प्रिलिम्स में आ सकता है एफर्ट्स रिमेंबर टीबी कैसे होता है वट आर द मेडिकेशन फॉर साइंस एंड टेक क्लियर क्लियर एवरी वन चलिए ठीक है फिर अब हम भी चलते हैं ठीक है दिस इज वट आई हैव फॉर यू टूडे मिलते हैं फिर ऑन द अदर साइड बाय बाय एंड हैप्पी न्यू ईयर अब मैं क्या बोल रहा हूँ मेरे को दिमाग में आ गया था सॉरी Sarah question Asab I listened on in it that uh Sorry? if you don't clear the interview but you appear in it uh your name Sorry? is given to some government and private organizations for I have kuch aur kehna chahta hu happy news se uh mujhe literally as nahi samajh nahi aaya aapne kya pucha Sir is your name given to different private and uh, government organizations for job if you appear in the interview but do not clear it अच्छा हाँ यस नाउ नहीं इट इज नॉट गिवन यूपीएस इज ब्रॉड मैकेनिज्म इफ यू ऑप्ट जब आपने फॉर्म भरा होगा सो इज ऑप्शन टू ऑप्ट टू रिवील द मार्क्स वंस यू इफ यू रीच टू द लेवल ऑफ इंटरव्यू देन दे रिलीज अ लिस्ट ऑफ द कैंडिडेट हु अपीयर फॉर द इंटरव्यूज एंड एनी इंस्टीट्यूट प्राइवेट और गवर्नमेंट दे कैन पिक योर नेम एंड कैन आस्क यू टू कम टू देयर इंटरव्यू इट्स अ मैकेनिज्म दो हजार के बाद आ चुका है बट अभी इतना पॉपुलर नहीं हुआ है जैसे कुछ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है आपकी जो गवर्नमेंट बॉडीज है भेल सेल जो भी है दे ऑफन टेक फ्रॉम द पीपल इफ यू अपीयर फॉर इंटरव्यू अनेबल टू क्लियर यूपीएससी यू कैन गेट सेकंड एडवांटेज इन सम पीएसयूज एंड प्राइवेट बॉडीज दे कैन आस्क यू बिकॉज यू हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड मेंस एंड पिल्लिम सो दे आस्क यू आ जाओ और देखते हैं कि आपको पता तुम्हें यहाँ जॉब मिल जाए मिल जाता है बट अभी इतना पॉपुलर है नहीं पर है ऑप्शन आपके पास ठीक है Yes, I did opt for a reveal of the marks. Okay, sir. Opt कर लो अच्छा है मैं सजेस्ट करूँगा सबको opt कर लीजिए जो मिले ना मिले option अच्छा है ठीक है very well हाँ बोलिए eighty two हाँ हाँ हाँ